Now let us discuss the topic cubes and cube roots. So there is an interesting story regarding the famous Indian mathematician Ramanujan and another famous mathematician G H Hardy once came to visit Ramanujan. Then he came by a taxi. Then the G H Hardy. Now G H Hardy told Ramanujan that the taxi number was one thousand seven twenty nine, and he told that it has no importance, means it is a dull number. But immediately Ramanujan replied that it is not a dull number. Now it is the he described the number one thousand seven twenty nine, means the taxi number one thousand seventeen seven twenty nine. He described that. now this is the smallest number which can be written as the sum of the cubes of two natural numbers in two different ways now let us see that 1729 means 1729 equals to 12 cube plus 1 cube this equals to 10 cube plus 9 cube now let us see the number is correct or not we will take the second one Now this equals to 10 cube is nothing but 1000 plus 9 cube is 729. So by adding these two, we can get 1729. So whereas 12 cube plus 1 cube. Now this we can write 1728 plus 1 cube is 1. So this also 1729. Now since then the number, the taxi number 1729 is known as hardy ramanujan number now before going to actual topic cubes and cube roots let us discuss two topics those two are solid figures and cube now what is a solid figure and what is a plane figure a plane figure means which has only two dimensions like surface rectangle square Circle. These are all plane figures. So, whereas if the figures have three dimensions, then it is known as solid figure. Now, the figures which have three dimensions are known as solid figures three dimension means length breadth and height now examples of solid figures cube cuboid prism pyramid and so on. now these are all solid figures because these figures have three dimensions like length breadth and height now what is a cube now a solid figure in which all the sides are equal is called a cube now this is a solid figure in which all the sides so here all the sides are equal if one side is 1 cm then all its sides are equal so that is called a cube now a solid figure in which all the sides are equal is called a cube now let us take some cubes whose side is 1 cm now see in the first figure the side of this cube is 1 cm means all the sides are equal so there is only one cube whose side is 1 cm now let us take the side of not as like let us take the second cube whose side is 2 cm 
but in this cube how many cubes are there whose side is 1 cm now along length there are two cubes and along width there are two cubes and along height also there are two cubes so there are totally 2 into 2 into 2 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 cubes there are 8 cubes whose side is 1 cm in the second figure now in the third figure how many cubes are there whose side is 1 cm so first what is the side of the given cube 3 cm now how many cubes are there whose side is 1 cm so along length 1 2 3 there are 3 cubes and breadth 1 2 3 and 3 cubes and along the height also 3 cubes are there so totally there are 27 cubes whose side is 1 cm now if you take another cube of side 4 cm then there will be 4 into 4 into 4 64 cubes whose side is 1 cm now if you observe all these numbers 1 8 27 so what are all these numbers so these are the cubes of natural numbers so here 1 can be written as 1 cube equals to 1 and 8 can be written as 2 cube this equals to 2 into 2 into 2 next 27 can be written as 3 cube this equals to you can write 3 into 3 into 3 this equals to 27 here 1 cube also you can write 1 into 1 into 1 this equals to 1 here 1 is obtained by multiplying 1 by 3 times and here 8 also obtained by multiplying 2 3 times and here 27 is obtained by multiplying 3 3 times so if your number is multiplied by itself 3 times then we get the cube of the given number so here 8 is called cube of 2 and here 27 is called cube of 3 then what is the cube of 4 means 4 cube so this equals to so to find the value of 4 cube we multiply 4 3 times so 4 into 4 into 4 this equals to 64 now the cube of 4 is 64 and what is the cube of 5 so 5 into 5 into 5 this equals to 5 5 the 25 25 5 the 125 so cube of 5 is 125 and what about 1 8 27 64 and 125 so these are these are known as perfect cubes or cube numbers 1 8 27 64 125 and so on so these numbers are called perfect cubes or cube numbers means whose cube is a whose cube root is a natural number